Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on July 24th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather and world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity on our planet. Starting out here looking at the sun as we did have a CME coming off of that bottom left bright region there, sunspot active did release a coronal mass ejection looking at outgoing imagery here pretty quiet in the out outgoing disc but we do have some earth facing action all of those active sunspots from last week on the backside are now coming in and the southern one just released the cme right there I want to thank everybody for tuning in today to the Daily Do. Don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends and family from around the world. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see the event off the bottom southwest side there, bottom left. And the umbras coming off of the bright regions incoming. Wow. Definitely begin keeping a close eye on these sunspots as they turn around. Looking here, we do not see any coronal holes facing. Only the more northern region trying to stretch to the equator. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Looking here, Lasco 2 and 3 at the CME from today. There was a small short one just before. But then, yeah, that was quite a blast. And we will get a glancing blow it was not completely earth-facing, but just about. Look at the vast size of that ejection. Taking up a fifth of the sun. Looking here at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, we will be receiving a glancing blow from the 28th into the 29th from this space weather event can see Parker Solar Probe there, the little green square moving in really close here. We're going to have some nice views coming up. Looking at real-time solar wind, we're steady at about uh, 325 kilometers per second. We did have quite a down draft there, down to 200 kilometers per second. Looking at our real-time solar flux remains low, and as well, the geomagnetic activity remains low. Schumann Resonance for today, a power of 9 Pretty low power there as well. Quality of 6.2. Let's have a look at earthquakes. The hum of the earth here are most recent. We're going to start in South America. As we did just recently have a 4.4 Argentina. 218 kilometer depth. And as well they saw 4.9 here. Constitution Chile. And as well San Pedro de Atamarca. Atacama, Chile, 4.6 there in El Salvador. There was just another one there just recently. Caribbean Plate, pretty quiet today. 3.2 there to report in Texas. And only sizable earthquakes to report here today. 3.8 and a 3.0 in Nevada, Tonopah. And as well, minor activity up into the springs. No major swarms to talk about. Alaska is seeing minor activity as well. Sizable 4.3 there at Ak. And as well, Pahala in Hawaii seeing activity today, largest being 2.8. Looking at about 260 earthquakes across the USGS map right now. One 4.7 there to report Japan. 4.2 there in Tepang, China. And as well, a 4.4 here, 106 kilometer depth, Tajikistan. And Greece is still rocking 4.1 after a 5.0 last night in the Aegean Sea, South Aegean Sea. And as well, Santa Cruz, 4.6 there. 4.3 to report beside Sinabung, Indonesia. And as well, a 5.3 here to report Tabilo, Indonesia. 4.5, Banda Sea, 
347 kilometer depth there. Solomon Islands with a 5.1 and Papua New Guinea seeing some earthquakes as well, 4.2, 4.4, pretty deep throughout the region and as well through Fiji and the Kermadec Islands, large 6.1. So the largest last 24 hours, 6.1 Kermadec and the deepest here is going to be well, we did have the 4.4 there, but I believe this 4.7, 613 kilometer depth. That's the deepest of the last 24 hours. So busy through the southwest ring of fire, through to Kermadex, and as well through Europe. Looking across the globe here for the last seven days, did have some sizable earthquakes here from Philippines and southeastward towards uh, Kermadec. And as well, Central America with that large 6.7 early this week. Lots of activity through Europe, the Arabian Plate. And that's the last seven days. Stay aware and prepared. Have a plan and just be ready. Much love for humanity. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking here at Karamiski in Russia. As well, Nevada de Chilean in Chile. Most recent. As well, Ravendador in Ecuador. Sabincaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Sangay in Ecuador. Nevada de Rules in Colombia. Decono. Simaru, Indonesia, and as well, Merapi, elevated to alert level three. So that means a lot of activity is building around Merapi right now, waiting for a large eruption there. My most, one of my most favorites across the globe. Having a look here, United States, Detroit did have a tornado warning today. Watch for extreme weather to go through uh, deep southwestern parts of Ontario as well. No real new fires to talk about through Pacific Disaster Center, but please, everybody, just stay tuned to your local TV and radio stations so you know when the evacuations are in order. We also have two tropical storms to talk about. Typhoon Infa is still spinning and heading into Shanghai, China right now. So definitely a... Worst case scenario situation is developing as that storm is going to stall over China. We also have the tropical depression just east of it. It's going to be heading into Japan for the long range. And still lots of cloud cover across the Indies, Southeast Asia, flooding through Cambodia as well, Vietnam, Mumbai, India. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected by floods recently. I know there has been a lot of people displaced over the past few weeks. As well, new floods to talk about in Ukraine and as well Turkey. I saw some devastating images of some dams breaking in Turkey. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Let's have a quick look. The five-day forecast brought to you by... Meteor Earth, and as well, daily events worldwide, always starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta, as we're still smoked out across the country and as well across the United States, and not much moisture is moving in except for more northward regions. But let's have a quick look here. Five-day forecast, we could get a little bit of rain, maybe some thunderstorms in the long-range forecast Wednesday to Thursday. Watch for a little bit of moisture to move through, but not much this week. We also have some extreme heat that will be moving into United States central regions and as well big low pressure system here through Manitoba, Ontario, and then into Quebec. Watch for that to bring extreme weather southward from that wave. No tropical systems to talk about in the Gulf nor in the Atlantic we do have an area of interest here, Central America, for the long range. It will be a developed hurricane in the seven-day forecast. 
Looking over the Atlantic, high pressure ridge, still pretty dominant. And then now is just going to ramp up this low pressure system that is over the United Kingdom, joining forces with another one. So watch for cloudy and rain conditions to continue pretty much all week long for the United Kingdom and then spreading northeastward. Looking over Southeast Asia, do have a system moving through uh, the west coast of India, bringing flash flood conditions through Mumbai, but watch for heavy rains all through this region this week, continuing and have been for a very long time. And then this developing situation over China with Typhoon Infa. And you can see here, a five-day forecast shows it going onto land and then just spinning in one spot. And then we've also got the other tropical depression here who is going to head into Japan Tuesday into Wednesday. Not much to talk about through Indonesia, nor with Australia, except for the snow in southeastern parts, higher elevations. Interesting, big, low-pressure system spinning just south of you. Overlooking New Zealand, high pressure ridge, beginning of the week, and then some rain moving in. Overlooking Hawaii, daily evaporation rains, a little bit of moisture coming off of the tropical depressions through the equator. And then, yeah, not much moisture coming in onto the west coast there. Dominant high pressure ridge. Overlooking South America, watch for a system here to affect Argentina and parts of Chile up into Paraguay throughout the week. A little bit of moisture, much needed through the region. And then overlooking Africa, interesting situation developing there. Strong low pressure system here spinning across the continent. It looks like by Saturday, or sorry, by Thursday, it'll be in the middle of the continent, and then it's going to be roaring off the coast. So long range should be interesting. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems that will be affecting us in the long range. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in today to The Daily Do. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.